Remove the black tape that is attached to the sliding doors in Repto Habitat to keep them from sliding in transit. Push up lightly on the Repto Habitat door frame to dislodge the right door from the track and remove. Slide the keyhole sliding door to the middle and repeat the previous step. Flip the keyhole so that it is located at the bottom right of the door. Place the keyhole sliding door up into the top front sliding groove. Push up so that you can slot the door into the lower front track. Make sure it slides side to side correctly. Remove Tetrafauna display label or placard from the first sliding door. Make sure that the adhesive strip is the length of the sliding door height. Cut the strip so that it fits correctly. This is to keep small insects or animals from escaping. Peel the backing off the strip and place on the left-hand side of the door, away from the left edge. Next, peel the adhesive strip from the sliding door handle and attach the handle with the edge at least one half inch away from right side of the glass door. Place the sliding door with the handle in the second track behind the keyhole sliding door by pushing the door up lightly into the top sliding groove and then slotting the bottom edge of the glass into the lower track. Check to make sure both sliding doors slide correctly. Test inserting the door locking key to keep the doors from sliding. Insert locking pin through the hole in the handle from top to bottom or insert a small padlock through the hole in the handle and lock. To open, remove locking pin or padlock and pull door lock handle gently out until it stops.